Good morning. This will be uh, video number um, four this morning, and uh, this is being done at 9.11 a.m. on um, the summer solstice, which is occurring around 2 p.m. here. I think I've heard 1.50 I've heard 158, it's around two, around two o'clock. Solstice will be taking place. And whatever that means to you. Yeah, so this will be the fourth video made this morning. A couple of them were um, nicely shorter. Uh, the attuned book reading, um, seemed a little on the longer side so it's taking long to upload so it'll actually the the videos will be coming out um out of the order they were done but probably in the order that the universe would care that they come out in i have no idea i'm just along for the ride really um i'm in some ways just another passenger on the ship of destiny and change Okay, so I would say this, that if you are um, going to uh, participate in this video, because this video is really a participatory video, um, there's a few things you might want to do. You might want to state out loud that you connect to your deep self. Notice what you experience when you say those words. That you connect to your higher self. Just notice what you experience when you say those words. I ground myself to the healing center of the earth. I open myself to the healing power of the one. I let Go of anything no longer useful to me now. And the beings that assist me in, in making these healing sounds um, are the Hathors. And if you wish to have them work with you on a more personal, energetic level, then you just state out loud that you choose to work with the Hathors. Okay, two things that um, uh, if you um, are enjoying this, the Hawthorne sound videos, um, I suggest that you, um, you go to my page and um, maybe just listen to today's the 620 um book reading of the book Attuned because the book Attuned is a class that I am um, putting out by reading from the book and um, it's getting really good um, you could just read today's practice session but it's about um, working with the energies that are arising the people that I interact with in the world uh, are all experiencing these energies arising. So understanding that these energies can be an unresolved experience of ours from the past. Could be childhood, could be teenage years, you know, however long you've been on the planet, could be any of that time, and an unresolved, um, an unresolved event is also referred to as a trauma. It means that the nerve system was overwhelmed by the unexpected aspect of the event. It could have been anything, could have been a word said, it could have been an argument, could have been a fight, could have been just being around 
one's parents when they were in a lot of intense energies. Could have been a death in the family, could have been a death of someone. It could have been anything. But it was unexpected. It was overwhelming to the nerve system. The nerve system just took it and set it off to the side and said, we'll deal with this later. And then possibly for some of you later is now. And it will always be resolved now. When it gets resolved, it will be now when it's getting resolved. So that's when it's all these things are resolved now. <laughs> okay. It could have been from another lifetime, whether you believe in them or not. Could be from another lifetime where your soul was affected by another life that it had lived, which is if it's all occurring now, which I perceive that it's all occurring now, then that past life is happening now. <laughs> so when you go back to it, you're going back to the now of that life. All of these lives that we might have lived all occur now. They were all now when they're occurring, like now is occurring. And for some, now may seem fairly traumatic, or now may be the time when the energies are getting higher and higher and our spaciousness is getting larger and larger. So we're finally at a place where we can deal with some of these things that we've left undealt with. Thomas talks about these things beautifully in the book. If you go through the book, you can go through the book yourself or you can go through the book and have me read it to you. Um, you Maybe I'll even learn how to make a playlist where I can just go through all the attuned book readings so a person can just go from one to the next if they want to. I just don't know quite how to do those kind of things, but my IT person will be back in town in a week or so, I think. Okay. So you're connected to your deep self you're connected to your higher self. You're grounded in the healing center of the earth. You're open to the healing power of the one. You've let go of anything not useful to you now. And you have chosen to work with Ahators. Here we go. This is the joy of my life to do these videos and assist you in the process of opening up creating space and healing from unresolved events. That's my joy. And so today we're going to be doing that through sound. So if you'll just briefly just follow your breath in and out. Just notice any places in your body where you might have more awareness, awareness of constriction, awareness of spaciousness. So if you feel like you're more spacious in some parts, you're less spacious in others, just notice the places where you feel spacious, the places where you feel more constriction. Just notice those. And then notice as the sounds come through, if it affects the, that spaciousness, if it increases that spaciousness, or it increases the spaciousness of the constricted area. Just notice that. And make a comment about it later, like, oh, that was really useful. That's great for me to get that feedback, that what I'm doing is useful to you or you or you. You know, that feedback is a loop. So it keeps us working with this together. And I'm going to keep doing these whether I get any feedback or not. Because I feel so much better after I do the videos. The videos are making my life. So the videos are my spiritual practice. That I get to spiritual, do my spiritual practice. It focus me, focuses me in. And I feel expanded after I've done them. Especially after the sound videos. Okay, ready to begin. Here we go. So just notice what you notice. 
you know, I'm noticing this area. You don't have to notice this area because I am. But if you're noticing this area too, it might be the area that we're all working with because of the frequencies rising, because of Avrahamanad, the soul of the earth, helping these frequencies to keep going up continually over the next nine months, completing on March 23rd of 2025. We're all possibly looking forward to this ascension process being complete. Okay, so I'm noticing this. You notice whatever you notice. It could be anywhere in the body. It could be in the outer body. You may feel contractions in the field around the body. It's just up to you what you notice. You notice what you notice and then pay attention as you hear the sounds if the sounds seem to change what you're noticing and also feel free to make the sounds as you're listening to the sounds, as you're listening to the sounds coming through me, feel free to let the sounds come through you and we'll just sound together. Becoming more sound. In the beginning was the sound. So it's interesting. So I feel this area and then I'm beginning to feel the sounds coming through and then I end up feeling this area. So it's interesting, this area and this area, but as the sounds are about to come through, I feel this area. E
I look a little disoriented. <laughs> may, um, may this serve you well. You can listen to it over and over and over again because each time you listen to it, your body is able to, oh, release that a little bit more, oh, release that a little bit more, oh, release that a little bit more. So the more you listen to it, the more release will take place, the more you'll just feel these things just kind of coming out energetically, just letting go of them. You may f notice different locations. This seems to be a specific one right here up in the brain stem where the brain comes down and the stem between that and the spinal cord. That brain stem is a big one for releasing old events. And so if you feel that area as I am currently, if you feel that area or other areas just opening up, feel free to just go back and continue to listen to the sound again and again and again. Find the other videos where the sounds are being made if it feels, if you feel compelled to do that. Because all these sounds just make it easier to let go of these stored tensions, these stored events, they come out. And as they come out, you'll just feel like you're getting bigger or feeling bigger or things are seeming bigger. That's because you're coming out of your contraction, this contraction of pulling in. As you come out of that, you start to realize like, oh, I'm part of something universal, galaxial, you know, just there's no end to it. And you're an aspect of that, bringing that into the world at this time. So also I encourage you to make sounds while you're listening to the sounds being made because you'll hear a sound, oh, and that sound may be for you, oh, just make the sounds, just let them come through you because that's the universe or the hot doors or part of the universe coming through you, helping you to release these stuck energies and as you release these stuck energies, you're affecting the whole world. And don't worry about it if you're affecting it in a good way. We're affecting the world one way or the other. If we're contracted, we're affecting the world by our contraction. We're affecting our relationships by our contraction. If we're expanding, we're affecting our relationships by our expansion. We're affecting the world one way or the other. May be it be useful to stop worrying about it and stop being fearful of everything and just be your authentic self, expressing your authentic self into the world that you're a part of. May as well join in. Join in the perception. You're just one of one, 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 one. All of us, just one. All right. Now let's go. Have a wonderful summer solstice.